Hey, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios, and in this video we'll look at how to import and edit one of our characters in Blender. In Unity we'll head to the Models folder and we'll look for the Characters model. Some of our packs may have a folder for the fixed scale characters, if that's the case then we'll use this one instead. So we'll get the location of the model, we'll open up Blender, then we'll import the model, File, Import, FBX. We'll paste in the folder of our model, and we'll import. Now you'll find it'll come in looking like a bit of a mess, so to fix that, go to Pose Mode, Pose, Clear Transform, All, and that'll reset the pose of our character. Then we'll go back to Object Mode. Now we'll want to apply the texture to our model. So under the Shading tab, click on the model, Open. Again, we'll paste in that folder of our character. If we go back up a few directories to the textures, and I'll bring in Polygon Sci-Fi 01A. Now it does still look quite messy to edit, and if we look under the armature, that's because it includes every character from the pack in the one model. If you're wanting to keep all of these in the one model and export everything out as it was originally, then we can turn off everything under the armature, holding shift, press the I icon, and let go of shift, turn it back on, and then we can edit each character individually. For the tutorial, we'll be editing the augmented male, and we'll just get rid of the rest of these as I'll export just the single character. We won't get too in depth with what we actually do with the character, as we've already done a few Blender tutorials in the past, and everything we've done in those also applies to the character. But we'll make a couple of little basic tweaks to the model, we'll also change a few of the colours, and we'll apply additional material slot to a few of the faces. So to start off, we'll select our character, we'll go into edit mode, pressing one on the keyboard for vertex select, select just these parts of the face, S to scale, same on this side. Just to give us a slightly different shape to the mouth. Then we'll look at changing some of the colours, so under the UV editing tab, zoom in on our character. And we'll just change to viewport shading just so we can see the colours. Three on our keyboard will take us back into face select mode. And hovering over this little facial hair, we can press L on the keyboard again. And we can reassign the colour. We'll do the same for the hair. Hover over the hair, press L on the keyboard to link select. Select all the faces. We want to give him some nice dark hair. And we'll do the same with his eyebrows. You can basically go through your entire model just following that same principle, selecting your faces, and then reassigning the colours. Then the last thing we'll do with this character is these faces here, we'll separate them out to a separate material slot. We'll change it to an emissive part of the texture, and then we can control that in an animation in Unity. So with the model selected, tab to go to edit mode, and this part in here I'll just manually select, as if I hover over using L to do the link select. You can see it's going to give me the sides also. I just want to change the bottom part of this. If I hold control, and it will just follow around in a straight line. So with that selected, if we go to the shading tab, and you can see here we have slot 1, so we add an additional slot, go back into edit mode again, we still have those faces selected, so in this drop down, we can assign them to the second slot. Then with the second slot selected, we'll just assign the polygon material, now we'll look at setting these faces to the emissive colour. We'll get all of these selected again, and we have all our emissive colours down here. We'll set these to an emissive white colour. Now we'll export this back out into Unity. File export FBX. Export this out directly into one of the folders that's part of our Unity project. In this case, I'll call mine edited character and we'll press export. Now back in Unity, you can see it's popped into our game. So with the character selected, go to rig, set this to humanoid and apply. For the materials, we'll just set these to none as we will apply these ourselves. And we'll drag him into our scene, back in our materials folder. We'll be using Polygon Sci-Fi 01A, and we'll duplicate that. And for the duplicate, we'll call this 01A character. And back to our character, you can now see we have the two material slots. So for the first slot, we'll drag in 01A. For the second slot, we'll drag in 01A character. And then for the 01A character material, we set the albedo to a darker color like black. And then with our emission, we can just drive the emission colour in our animation. You can check out the video here on setting up an animation. So we have our edited character in our game ready to go. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community discord. The link is in the description.